Hey guys, for today's video, I wanna share some tips on how to put together a capsule wardrobe with color. Because a lot of the trends for a capsule wardrobe seems to be very neutral palettes, and so you see a lot of black, white, gray, you know, maybe a striped shirt, but basically everything is very subdued and neutral. But what do you do if you want to do a capsule wardrobe, but you want pops of color in there too? So I wanna share some tips with you guys for creating a capsule wardrobe with color. And instead of me just sitting and sharing tips with you, I wanna actually walk you through the process and do a talk through. So I'm gonna get right to it and we're gonna get started with doing the wardrobe edit. Okay guys, so this is gonna be kind of capsule wardrobe 101. So if you're just getting started or just getting into doing a capsule wardrobe, that's what we're gonna be focused on right now. Exactly what it is and how to maintain it, how to get started, all of that. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open this door because it's getting really hot in here with the lights on and everything. So let me just open that up, cool us off a bit. So the very first thing when you're getting ready to start your capsule wardrobe is to do a wardrobe edit. So you wanna pull everything out of your closet I pulled everything out, it's all on this rack, so I can go ahead and go through it. You can either lay it out on your bed or a space on the floor, whatever's easiest for you, just so you can see everything that you own and sort of assess it and sort it into three piles. You have your love it pile, your maybe, and your donate or getting rid of pile. So I've already gone through, uh, when I was first doing my capsule wardrobe last year, I went through and did that, so you guys can always check out that video, that's on my channel already. So I don't have a lot to really downsize, but I know there's a couple items in here still. So that's still kind of fun to go through, assess your items, you know, once a season or so, and just see if there's anything in there that you're not wearing anymore. Okay, so we're gonna begin sorting, and I'm gonna go ahead and take out any clothes that I feel like are a maybe, or I just haven't worn them in my previous capsule wardrobe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out anything that I just don't reach for anymore. So whatever the reason is, maybe it's peeling up, maybe it got stretched out, just doesn't fit you right anymore. Um, there's certain certain pieces in here that I definitely feel like I have stopped wearing for that reason alone, just because it like it just doesn't fit right anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of any of those items, or maybe the color isn't something that you're into, um, and maybe you were at one time. So there's a couple of items in there, a couple of t-shirts. Um, in fact, this one, oops, this one too. And then here's the shorts that I have. I do have a couple pairs in here that don't really fit very well anymore because they have gotten stretched out. I've had them for years. So it's time to sort of let go of a couple of those and I know exactly which ones they are. Um, so I think, okay, th so yeah, actually this one, yeah, I'm gonna keep that a little longer until I find another pair of khaki shorts to replace them. Sometimes you'll find that you might have an item that you don't necessarily love, but you're just waiting. You gotta hold off until you actually find a piece that you do to replace it. So sometimes the, the wardrobe capsule isn't gonna be perfect straight away and you've gotta build it slowly over time. And then I have one pair of jeans, one pair of denim jeans, which I'm gonna hang on to a little bit longer because I don't wear these a whole lot, but once in a while I will wear them during winter time. And then I have a sweater that I have off to the side here that I don't hang up because it'll stretch out the shoulders and it'll get all funky. So I do have one sweater sitting over there that I am definitely gonna keep that because I wear that all the time or, well, at least whenever possible, whenever it's cool during the winter time. So your capsule wardrobe will usually include your tops, bottoms, dresses, outerwear, shoes. And it will not include your workout wear, um, you know, work or school uniforms, accessories, uh, and it won't include like your underwear or anything like that. Um, so really you're just looking at creating a capsule wardrobe with your basic kind of everyday clothing, your essentials, your staples is kind of what it's going to be based around. One of the things I did find after doing a capsule wardrobe for a couple of seasons was that there's certain items that seem to overlap and I wasn't sure if I should include those in my capsule wardrobe or keep it separate and that's totally up to you. So one of those happens to be workout wear, uh, specifically yoga pants. So when it comes to items that overlap, I found that yoga pants were definitely one of those. I wear them all the time. I live in these things. I will wear them for yoga when I'm actually, you know, in here working out or I'll wear them when I'm running errands, you know, out grocery shopping, lounging around the house or something. And it's just one of those kind of items that you just wear all the time. And it's very versatile, which is a great thing, but sometimes it's kind of like, well, how do I count this? Do I keep this separate from my caps wardrobe or do I include it in there because I do wear them all the time? So I have still kept mine separate, so I'm not sure if I'm going to include them or not and I'm actually I'm I've transitioned my capsule wardrobe to be a lot more fluid so I'm technically not doing a traditional capsule wardrobe anymore for 
myself, but I still love the whole process of it and I still want to share, you know, more videos on it with you guys. So we can always talk more about um, tr the transition to a more fluid capsule wardrobe too, if you guys are interested. Okay, our next step in creating our capsule wardrobe is that we only want items that are for that current season that we're in. So anything that is not, uh, not for that season, we're going to go ahead and pack that away and remove it from our closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack mine into, I have a little suitcase down here and that's what I usually store it in. Or if you have, um, you know, like under the bed storage boxes or bags, you can use that and just make sure they're stored away nice and neat so you can pull them out when that season that they're appropriate for comes around again. So these are not items that you wanna get rid of. They're just items that you want to pack away for now because they don't fit the current season. So this is gonna be different for everyone. Um, you can see we are currently in winter and I am putting away a winter fleece because it's it still happens to be too hot for our climate and really that is when I go travel that's when I'm on the mainland or something like that so I'm just gonna pull out some other pieces here and also as you're going through your clothes it's really helpful to categorize them by what they are so that way you can kind of look at them at a glance and see exactly like how many sweatshirts you have for example and then here I have some of the cold gear tops from Under Armour. These are really nice tops for if you're needing, you know, nice layering tops for cold weather. I'm going to go ahead and take away a couple of these. Well, let me see. I'll go ahead and leave two of them for now and I'll toss this one down here to be stored away. So right now I have three sweatshirts, two of these quarter zips, and then two of the cold gear tops, and then also three regular long sleeve shirts, which I do tend to wear those quite a bit so I don't know if I want to remove any more of those and then I have two t-shirts and it's kind of fun when you're going through your clothes because you can see exactly how much like what you tend to wear the most is usually what you have the most of so I have the most of tank tops right here and I have them split by exactly what they do so I've got like kind of like two different styles and they layer together so I've got one style that happens to be more of the kind of base layer or like the undershirt kind of tank top and then the tanks that would go over the top of that that you wouldn't wear by themselves. So that's one thing that I found if you do happen to have um, tops or clothing that you tend to layer a lot, it makes your number of your capsule wardrobe go up because it takes more items to build the one outfit that you're wearing, right? So usually a capsule wardrobe would contain 30 to 40 items. It's usually around like 33, 37 items and that doesn't always work for everyone. So do what works for you. If you do a lot of layering, it's okay to go ahead and have more in your capsule wardrobe to make it work for you. So when you are going through your clothes and you happen to find that you have a lot of one item, but you just have them, you know, say in all different colors or something, but you wear all of them, then that's totally okay. Don't feel like you have to keep paring that down just to reach a certain number. So I have a total of 10 tank tops, which probably seems like a lot, but I wear them almost every single day, whether I'm layering them, like right now I'm wearing one under this long sleeve top. So I do layer those a lot and I use those as my base layer under almost everything that I wear. And I do like to have a good color selection or, you know, there's, there's a variety. So I don't want to wear the same like white top, white tank top every day, you know? Okay, the next set of items here, I have our tank tops that I use for layering over the tops of these. So these are ones like uh, that are kind of like muscle tanks and they're cut quite low. You wouldn't wear those by themselves. You would at least wear them like over a sports bra or over another tank top. Um, so those are kind of like in the layering category again. I will go and take this top away and this one too. And I'll pack those away as... Um, actually, I think one of these might be a maybe, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep hanging on to that or not. So we'll go ahead and remove those from our collection right now. Another tip for helping to organize your closet or create a nice clean crisp look or doing a capsule wardrobe is to invest in good hangers. And that way it's really going to help you like starting out with a nice beautiful looking closet with all your clothes neat and organized with nice hangers. It's going to help you to want to keep it that way and want to keep it clutter free and just really beautiful. So once you've gone through your clothes, and you've removed any unseasonal items and stored those away, you can kind of look through and see exactly what you have to work with. And you can start by pairing up the colors or the color combinations you like and just see if it's flowing together and see if they're gonna work as a cohesive unit for creating your capsule wardrobe. So one way to start figuring out the color palette that you wanna use is to just think about what are your favorite current colors for this season that you're wearing right now and sort of just start building around that. So as an example, one of my favorite color palettes are blues and khakis mixed together. So I would pair like a pair of khaki shorts with say a blue top 
And so that would be one of my favorite color palettes that I would wear a lot and go to and it's something that I can always count on and it's always going to make me feel good when I'm wearing them. And so that's a color palette that you can kind of start with. Just whatever makes you feel good, whatever you like to wear together, start with that color combo and build around it. So another one would be like if you like denim. So you've got your denim pants and I like to wear denim and white a lot. So I would take like my white long sleeve top and maybe even have like a tank layered underneath that. And that would be, oh, I guess you can't, you can't really see that, but you guys got the idea. Um, so yeah, I would just pair up my, my denim and whites together or white and khakis, um, light blue and khakis. So really you're just finding that neutral color that you really enjoy pairing up with your favorite colors. And that's a really good way to start off with building a color palette that actually has color for your capsule wardrobe. All right guys, the battery on my camera is about to die, so I will be right back. I gotta change that. So if you like to have a selection of colors, just find those neutrals that really work well with the majority of your colors. So that's why I like the, you know, kind of nude oatmeal tones, the khakis, because you can match that up with peaches, pinks, blues, it just goes with anything. Or if you like to have, you know, some more like wild prints, like, you know, I've got a pair of shorts here that are pretty wild, I love these. Don't feel like you have to stick with like solids either, like if you like fun prints, go for that too. And you can always match it up with like a plain white tea or a gray tea or some sort of neutral top that you like. It really is just all about building a collection that you enjoy wearing. Um, or if you just like, you know, oops, I just <laughs> threw those over the edge. Let me grab those. Also white is another great neutral to pair up with your bright colors. Um, it always looks good, it always looks clean and fresh, and if you don't want to wear black, I know black is quite popular with a lot of people, but if you're not particularly into the dark colors like dark grays or blacks, charcoals, um, then use the lighter tones, the lighter neutrals to match up with your bright colors. And it just can make it really fun, crisp and fresh, and especially if you're doing like a capsule wardrobe during spring and summer and you want to keep it light and fun like that. So if your goal is to start out with about 35 items in your capsule wardrobe and you've pared it down but you found that you still have too much, go ahead and go through it again and sort of just go through your color palette, see if your items are going to be able to mix and match well together, see if they're versatile, and also check out your items and see if they're, they're form and function. That's what I've found a lot too. Sometimes I would have items that were just kind of just more for looks and they weren't really too functional or maybe they were all function and they just had no style to them. So either way, look for that form and function in each and every piece that you own, and that'll really help start to kind of curate, it'll help you start to curate your collection and it'll be like each piece will be even more versatile and more usable and more wearable for you. So generally you would do four capsules in a year, one for each season or three month period, and you would change it out when the next season comes around. And you wouldn't change out your entire wardrobe, you would just just kind of pick and choose which items you know weren't seasonally appropriate for the upcoming season and you switch it out with items that you had stored away you know since we we went through our items earlier so any of those items that you would want to bring back into your collection for that next season because maybe they are seasonally appropriate now then you would go ahead and do that so you would really just switch out you know a few items maybe just a handful or so whatever is fitting for you and just to kind of get all of my items on here so I can see them all together at once I'm gonna hang up that sweater even though I usually keep that folded up over here and I'm gonna grab my shorts so I can get a count on those. I'm gonna scoot this a tiny bit further this way because oops <laughs> I think I just hit the wall um, because I couldn't see you guys. Okay so I wanted to make sure that I was on camera with you. What the heck is going on with my rack now? So once you get to a stopping point go ahead and take a look at exactly what you have. See if the color palette is flowing how you want it to be. Make sure that the items are going to be able to mix and match well together and go ahead and do a count and see exactly where you're at to get an idea of what your number is. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 hanging on the rack including my one pair of jeans down here and then I have two, four, six pairs of shorts so that's 36 on the rack and then I'm wearing 
three items. So that would be 39 pieces in my capsule wardrobe. Okay, down here I have three pairs of shoes. I also have one more pair outside, so I've got a total of four, but that does bring me over the, between, you know, I'm not sticking within the 30 to 40 item range since that brings me over the 40 item range, but I don't really stick by the rules of the traditional capsule wardrobe anymore. I just use those as kind of just a guideline, and that's what I'd recommend because it's really more about balance and curating a wardrobe that you love and you enjoy wearing all of the pieces that you have. So it's not necessarily going to be a set number and it's better to go by what feels like the right amount to you. So now that your capsule wardrobe has taken form and you feel that you're in a good place with it, you know, number wise, it feels like it's the right amount for you. The color palette's working and you feel like everything is going to mix and match really well together. Now it's time to organize it. So you can organize it by category and color or from light to dark, whatever works for you. Oh my God, of doing capsule wardrobe are it encourages you to wear your favorite things. Number two would be it helps you to learn how to curate your style rather than sort of this, you know, you pull up in your closet and it's like very chaotic and there's clutter and you don't really have your style honed down quite the way you want it yet. So it can really help with that because you are working with a less amount and you put a lot more focus into each piece that you do have. Number three is it really helps reduce the clutter and chaos in your closet. It makes everything very streamlined. It's easy on the eyes. It's actually a pleasure to look into your closet and get ready in the morning. And I think that can really help translate into the rest of your day, getting off to a good start where there's not, um, there's no clutter to get stressed out about in the morning. Even if you don't realize it, that kind of chaos in the background, sort of that background blur can sort of seep into your mind and just be this little bit of extra stress that you carry. Number four is it saves you money because you're not going out and shopping all the time. In fact, you really don't shop during that three month period. You would only shop during the transition of the seasons and it also gets you in the habit of shopping more mindfully and more thoughtfully about each piece that you do bring into the house because you know that you have a limited amount of space and each piece really has to count and be very versatile form and function quality over quantity and so you're much more focused on that and you're just more careful about what you bring into the house all right guys so those are some of the benefits of doing a capsule wardrobe and i think that the structure initially is really a good starting off point if you're looking to you know just downsize even if you're not doing a full on capsule wardrobe, just downsizing your closet a bit and kind of honing your style and your personal taste a bit it is a really good way to sort of get you started. All right, guys, you know I love sharing organizing videos with you and about capsule wardrobes and organizing and downsizing and decluttering and all of that. So if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or any other video request, and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow.